Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Weya and this is where I talk about all things plants. In this video, I want to give the spotlight to my common plants. I think they are common for very good reasons. They are easier to grow. They just chill and they just grow beautifully in our homes. The first plant that I'm going to show you guys, this plant has been featured in my channel probably two years ago and it is this Hoya Crimson Queen. This mother plant is still in soil, but I have a baby plant of it, which is currently in Lekka. We all love pink plants. I do not know why, like, I think all the hype about this plant just toned down. This plant is so beautiful, especially when you give this plant really good light. It will give you these very pretty leaves that are white, as you can see in my plant, and they don't die that easily i do not know why but the variegated leaves of this plant just stays probably because the green part of it can support all the white part of the plant i do have the crimson princess but i think i prefer the crimson queen more there's just something about this plant that's so pretty it gives you different kinds of variegation sometimes full moon sometimes this like album marginata kind of variegation and it's also such a easy grower you don't need to fuss about putting it in a milspo cabinet or in a high humidity area you just give it a good light and that's it and it will flourish and grow this plant has been with me for a, quite a long time now from this mother plant i've already made two full pots one is as well still in soil and one is currently in laka still rooting though but we're we're gonna get there i think i will not remove this plant from soil because this is the mother plant and i don't really want to risk this plant but yeah this is the hoya crimson queen now let's move on to another plant this one right here is a begonia and this is my begonia lucerna lucerne i'll insert the name just look at the size of its leaves but can you see how pretty this plant is like oh my god it's a bit droopy but it's still on its way to become pretty again and at the back is such a pretty red color like look at that i cannot believe how pretty this plant is i hope it will really this will work though i have another one which is like the insurance plant but still this is the mother plant and i really want the mother plant to survive a baby is coming out right here it also used to live in soil currently rooting it out in leka i do not know if i will lose some of the leaves hopefully not i cannot recommend this plant enough the plant itself will tell you when it needs water so there's no guessing game right there. I even broke this plant before. It's broken somewhere here, but it has reattached itself. I've started this plant as a really tiny one, probably a two node cutting. And from that two node cutting, I was able to make two pots of full grown begonias. And among the begonias I have, I think this is the one that has the biggest leaf. Look at that. That's my begonia right there. The next plant is a really good pop of color and it is the philodendron malai gold it's currently in water because i want the plant to grow water roots first before i put it to leka when you have a sea of green and you have this plant right here it's such a pop of color i so like that about this plant and look at the color of the petioles it reminds me of the painted lady the color palette of this plant reminds me of the painted lady except that this one has no variegation similar to that of the painted lady like the painted lady has that painted look i cannot wait to make this plant grow bigger and put it in leka so that i can maybe put it somewhere here yeah this plant actually was given to me as well by a friend i think if i remember correctly this plant came from her mom's plant <laughs> i'm not sure because it was quite a long time ago this plant also is not just a regular malay gold for me but it has a story to it that's why i like it even more this one right here as i've mentioned before i'm scared of putting this plant to leka because i'm scared that i will kill it and it's the philodendron brazil i do not know why i have the courage to pull out anthuriums alocasias 
from soil but i don't have the courage to pull out philodendron brazil from soil it's crazy but it is what it is i had this plant before and sadly it's not with us anymore because of the thrips that happened since then it has become one of my wish list plants and ever since that happened i couldn't find a good philodendron brazil like a good basket or a good four inch pot or any for that matter which is also good priced in the big box stores I, so i've been really searching and i've been really waiting before buying one and finally i was able to get one during one of my trips and yeah i cannot wait to see this plant grow big the new growth starts as this pinkish orangey color and also at the back as you can see the variegation as well you can even see as well on the stem each leaf as well grows differently i mean the variegation grows differently i have this like almost all yellow ones and then there's this one that looks a bit like a i don't know half moon where here is full neon here is like the green one the here is the green part but then you see here in the middle it's like a different hue of green and then here this leaf is the usual philodendron brazil color i also really like this plant in this gray pot for some reason i'm liking the like light green together with a gray pot like that combination just really it really good like i truly there it's just that kind of combination is just so pretty in my eyes it's such an easy going plant if i would have to choose between this plant and the heart shaped leaf i will choose this one because it just has that different color and when you have a lot of plants you will have a lot of greenery this plant will have that sort of just change of color similar to how these other plants would give in your collection that is the philodendron brazil if you like blooms i highly recommend orchids <laughs> i have this orchid phase at the moment i feel like orchids are really they just chill you know they don't ask too much for, of your attention they don't even want to be watered a lot or else they will have root rot they will also give you a pop of color in winter that's the main reason why i started to gravitate towards orchid at the moment because it's winter no flowers outside no flowers inside the house but yet orchid steps out and gives you these very beautiful blooms you can choose any color any size shape there are different kinds of orchids not just this you know there's phalaenopsis there's this one there's the one cymbidium there are really a lot of kinds of orchids that one can choose from it just depends on what kind of growth habit or size and flower you like but there's tons of them in the garden centers and big box stores they're always available all year round uh, that's why i highly recommend and orchids the next plant that i'm gonna show you guys is one of my all-time favorite plants i think no matter how many times i kill this plant i would buy it over and over again that's just how much i really love this plant and it is this maranta tricolor maranta leucanora tricolor this is the plant that showed me the prayer plant world i'm slowly building now again my prayer plant collection because most of them i lost due to thrips since thrips are gone i'm slowly building back my collection but this time i'm gonna focus more on marantas mostly because of the size of the plant i don't have much space left any longer and for example calithias they do require bigger space than marantas and also i already have a plan where i'm gonna put my marantas so i have the vizio ikea shelves i really like the look of marantas being a ground cover i'm gonna do that kind of concept in my video shelf so gonna let the marantas cover the bottommost part of the shelf i have two of those and connected them so kind of like i have about two meter wide shelf so the two meter wide space i'm gonna use it for marantas alone i have the maranta kerchaviana variegata and the leaves of that plant are not as dark as this one that's why i chose to feature this plant instead of that kerchaviana this one is currently in soil but i'll work on converting this plant to laka maybe i'll cut some of the pieces and start 
rooting them out in water and then the ones from soil take them out from soil and clean the roots that's my maranta leuconora the next one that i'm gonna show you guys i feel like they're pretty similar i'm gonna show both plants at the same time these are the syngonium pixie and the syngonium white butterfly i have a really tiny one it's still a very baby white butterfly it's currently rotting out in water i need to change the water of this vessel and i'll do that later after this video this one is the syngonium pixie i really like how compact this plant is and you can see the difference though the white butterfly will become bigger like a lot bigger than the pixie one i think syngoniums really are quite underrated they are very pretty and very easy going and they also root fast and propagate fast so if i want a new plant i can cut any of my syngoniums and just root them out in water and then i will have a new set of plant my first syngonium pixie and i do notice that the more mature the pixie grows the more it has that the more it shows this kind of pattern where the mid part is brighter or than the, than the rest well the really juvenile ones has this kind of pattern like similar to a white butterfly so these are the last two plants that i'm gonna talk about for today's video and comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see from me in the future thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye-bye!